Welcome to my minimalist skincare routine. A cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen, and a retinoid. Just those four essentials. And as someone who has struggled with acne in the past, skincare was pretty daunting, but it doesn't have to be. There are so many skin products out there and you've probably seen adverts for LED therapy, charcoal cleansers and super expensive face masks. And while I'm sure those things have their place, you can still achieve clearer, smoother and more youthful looking skin without breaking the bank. So if you're tired of conflicting information, cluttered bathroom counters and you want a simple but effective approach, you're in the right place. It's all about prevention and maintenance, ensuring your skin stays healthy and vibrant over time. My aim is to save you time and money. I'm not affiliated with any of the companies mentioned and this is not a sponsored video. All right, the first thing to do is to figure out what your skin type is so that you can get products based on your skin type. Most people typically have either normal, dry, sensitive, oily, or a combination skin type and it's based on the amount of sebum or oil your skin produces. What you need to do is with a gentle cleanser, wash your face and then pat it dry, wait 30 seconds and then look in the mirror. If your skin looks flaky and feels tight, it's probably dry skin. If your skin is bright and shiny all over, you probably have oily skin. And if the shine is mainly in your T-zone, so that's your forehead and nose, and the rest of your face is dry or normal, you probably have combination skin. And if your skin is itchy, red or inflamed, then your skin is probably sensitive. Okay, so now you know your skin type, you can choose the right products for your skin. Now, the first thing you need is a cleanser. Use it twice a day, once in the morning and once in the evening and get one based on your skin type if you can. So why do you need a cleanser? Throughout the day, your skin is peppered with bacteria, viruses and pollutants. And the point of a cleanser is to remove the dirt and debris and the dead skin cells without removing your natural skin oils. The one I use is CeraVe Hydrating Cleanser. It has ceramides, which are basically fats found in skin cells and they're important for retaining your skin's moisture. Think of them as the glue that holds our skin together. Use a gentle cleanser that doesn't contain alcohol and I use one that contains hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a substance your body produces. It's the key molecule involved in skin moisture. So all you do is wet your face with warmish water and use your fingers to massage the cleanser in for approximately 30 seconds to a minute and then rinse with lukewarm water and pat your skin dry with a soft face towel. Okay, the second step in your skincare routine is moisturizing your skin. Again, do this once in the day and once at night. Remember, our skin acts as a barrier between our body and the external environment. It keeps bacteria, allergens, and debris out while locking moisture in. But when our skin loses moisture and becomes dry, this barrier weakens, which can lead to itchy, inflamed red skin. And this can make your skin more susceptible to infections, acne, and blackheads. And so moisturizing helps to hydrate your skin, seal in moisture, and maintain your skin's protective barrier. A small amount does the trick, and it's best done on clean and slightly damp skin. Okay, the next thing you need is sunscreen. This is probably the best anti-aging thing you can use for your skin. When you're exposed to the sun without protection, your skin gets bombarded by UV radiation, which causes photoaging. The sun's UV radiation mutates the DNA in our skin cells, causing dark spots, wrinkles, and sunburn over time. In some cases, these mutations can result in skin cancer, which is essentially an abnormal growth of skin cells when they multiply uncontrollably. To protect your skin, apply every morning. It creates a physical barrier that helps prevent DNA mutations from sun exposure. Now, an SPF between 30 and 50 is ideal. Below 30, the protection isn't great, and above SPF 50, it can cause itching or skin allergies for some people. Also, go for a broad spectrum sun cream to protect against both UVA and UVB rays because both can damage your skin. And this goes without saying, if you're in the sun, don't forget to reapply often. So what I do is I use a facial moisturizer with SPF, which saves me time. So yeah, hugely important, apply it generously. And if you incorporate the next step, sunscreen becomes even more important. The fourth step is to use a retinoid at nighttime. If there's one ingredient all skincare experts can agree on, it's retinoids. Retinoids are an umbrella term to describe a class of chemicals derived or related to vitamin A. Not all retinoids are made equal. Retinoic acid is the form that is biologically active and binds to the receptors in your skin. It doesn't have to go through any conversions to work on your skin, so it's the most potent and effective form. They were initially used for acne treatments over 50 years ago, 
but then we discovered that the active ingredient can treat a variety of skin conditions and retinoids work by enhancing the skin's natural renewal process which is called cell turnover this process is basically responsible for exfoliating the skin and maintaining its smoothness and radiance and as we age this renewal process slows down and retinoids help maintain and accelerate skin cell turnover improving skin texture and tone and making aging skin look more youthful the other main function retinoids have is they support the skin's essential structural components like collagen and elastin which are responsible for skin firmness and as we age our skin suffers uv damage collagen fibers decline leading to saggy and older looking skin and retinoids promote the growth of collagen and elastic fibers reducing wrinkles and restoring a youthful appearance now, retinoids come in different strengths and the best thing to do is to consult a doctor so that they can recommend the best one and strength for your skin type. And one thing to consider is that when you start using retinoids, your skin may feel sensitive, it might peel, become dry. This is pretty common and it's known as skin purging and the symptoms usually settle within a couple of weeks, which can be off-putting, but it's worth it, trust me. So use a pea-sized amount in the evening after it dries and settles, you can apply your moisturizer to prevent dryness. Okay, so to summarize quickly, find out what your skin type is and tailor products to it. Use a cleanser twice a day because it helps to remove excess oils and impurities from the skin. Moisturize twice a day because it rehydrates your skin and it replaces natural fats and keeps the skin barrier intact. Use a broad spectrum sunscreen because it provides daily protection against both UVA and B rays. And incorporate a retinoid which reduces wrinkles evens out pigmentation and accelerates skin cell regeneration. Another important thing to mention is that your skin is only going to be as healthy as you are. Perfect skincare routine can't replace getting enough sleep, eating a decent diet and taking care of your mental health. Consistency is really important. Your daily habits significantly impact your skin's health. So eat a balanced diet rich in vitamins and antioxidants make sure you get enough high quality sleep each night manage your stress levels because cortisol which is the main stress hormone increases sebum production and inflammation also change your sheets and towels each week to minimize the impacts bacteria has on your skin obviously drink plenty of water to keep your skin hydrated and don't forget to clean your phone screen and laptop as well there is so much bacteria on them and we tend to touch our faces more than we think and lastly stop smoking because this damages your skin and accelerates aging i will see you guys in the next one peace